Today, I'm going to be scoring one touchdown with every wide receiver on Madden 24, and we're starting with the Baltimore Ravens. So as you can see, we're down here in Baltimore. I'm not going to be using every wide receiver in the game because no one wants to see me using these bummy bench players, but we're starting off with OBJ because he's the best on the team, and that's going to be a one-play touchdown. I mean, obviously, OBJ is still an absolute dog. Even though people think he's going to slow down this season, I cannot see that happening. I guarantee you he will go off. But that brings us down to New Orleans, and their best wide receiver is Michael Thomas, who really hasn't played a whole lot in the last two seasons. He's been getting injured a lot, so hopefully he can stay healthy this year, because when he's healthy, this guy is scary. And I think it's going to be interesting to see how the Saints do this season now that they have Derek Carr at quarterback, who I'd say is a pretty big upgrade for them. But a lot of people seem to think the Saints are going to win the division this year, which I could definitely say happening. I'd say the Bucks and Falcons really don't stand a chance at all. I'd say if Bryce Young goes off, it'll probably probably be the Panthers, but if the O-line keeps playing the way it did in the preseason, Bryce Young is going to be getting absolutely torched, so it would probably be the Saints, but hopefully it'd be the Panthers, because that would be cool to see, but anyways, there's your touchdown from Michael Thomas, but that's going to bring us down to Seattle. As you can see, we have amazing field position here. Our defense got a pick, so this one shouldn't take too long, but Tyler Lockett's only an 89 overall, which I mean, I feel like that's pretty disrespectful. I'd say he's probably one of the best wide receivers in the league, and even worse, DK Metcalf is only an 88 which I mean those are both pretty good overalls but I feel like they should both at least be 90 91 overalls but anyways there's your touchdown from Tyler Lockett that's gonna bring us to the Steelers and their best wide receiver is Deontay Johnson who's an 82 overall honestly I want to get this one done as fast as possible because you guys know I'm a Ravens fan and it actually pains me to be using the Steelers right now but all jokes aside I feel like the Steelers are due to have a pretty decent season this year I mean they do have a tough division so I wouldn't say they're gonna be a playoff team yet that is a huge pickup let's go i feel like kenny pickett is definitely due to have a crazy season this year though and i mean they also have a pretty good defense so they, I, that's why i'm thinking they're gonna have a better season than last year but again their division's pretty tough so making the playoffs is kind of out of the question but at the same time i mean it wouldn't surprise me the steelers are usually good but there's your touchdown with the steelers but that's gonna bring us to the texans and their best wide receiver is woods who's like a 77 overall which honestly that is terrible for your best wide receiver on the team but i mean ooh, that's a big pickup we're still going please we're gonna get pushed out of the 31 i am gonna hand it to the texans though they've had some pretty good moves in the offseason i wouldn't say they're gonna be a playoff team but now that they have cj stroud i'd say this year they're probably gonna get at least five or six wins but there's your touchdown from the texans but that's gonna bring us to tennessee and i mean i don't know what to think about this team right now their best wide receiver is deandre hopkins at a 94 overall which i still cannot wrap my head around the fact that he's on the titans now but that's gonna be a one play touchdown that one was pretty quick i will take it i can see why he went there he probably won the team up with derrick henry but i mean Tannehill is probably one of the most mid quarterbacks in the league if i'm keeping it real with you but that brings us to the vikings and we already know who we're gonna be using here justin jefferson who's a 99 overall and not only is he the best wide receiver on the team he's the best wide receiver in the whole entire nfl so that's gonna be a one play touchdown as you can see I knew that was not going to be difficult. That brings us to Chicago. And as you can see, we got an interception. So we have some crazy field position. This will probably be done in two or three plays. But we're using DJ Moore, who's an 86 overall, I think. That's going to be a one-play touchdown. I knew that wouldn't take long after that pick. But anyways, there's your touchdown for the Bears. And I feel I wouldn't say they're going to win the division. But I could see them sneaking into the playoffs after all the upgrades they made this season. But this is another one we should get done pretty quickly. We're using Jamar Chase on the Bengals, who's like a 94 overall this team is one of if not the most terrifying team in the afc right now maybe next to the bills but they ended up beating them and as i said that's going to be a one play touchdown i knew that was going to happen jamar chase is an absolute dog but that brings us to the bills and their best wide receiver is obviously stefan diggs who's a 96 overall which i think puts him in the top five maybe like the top three or something i can't really remember but that is going to be a massive pickup let's go but if you're not a bills fan this is another one of those teams that you do not want to see your team going up against they are gonna be scary this season i will tell you that for some reason a lot of people are counting them out that is a massive pickup let's go i'm not gonna go ahead and say that they're gonna win the super bowl or anything this year but i think this might finally be their year that they dethrone the chiefs if not it will happen soon i mean they are definitely in good hands with josh allen and stefan diggs but there's your touchdown with the bills 
But that's going to bring us down to Denver. Their best wide receiver is Jerry Judy at an 83 overall. Honestly, I could see these guys making the playoffs this year. I, I wouldn't say they win the Super Bowl, but now that they have a good coach in Sean Payton... I have a feeling that Russell Wilson is actually going to go off this season. I mean, he's not going to be better than Patrick Mahomes, clearly, but I think he's going to return to his Seattle form, which we clearly did not see last year. But anyways, as long as we don't mess this play up, we should be in for an easy touchdown of Judy, and that is looking good, so that's going to be your touchdown for the Broncos. But that's going to bring us to the Browns, and their best wide receiver is Amari Cooper, who's an 89 overall. I wouldn't say the Browns are going to win the division because they clearly have a tough road ahead. I mean, that division vision is stacked but I do think they will do better than they did last year because last year Deshaun Watson really didn't get a chance to do a whole lot and now that he has a full season to play with them unless he gets injured or anything like that I think they're gonna be in pretty good hands with this guy but that's gonna be your touchdown from Amari Cooper which was an absolute dot by the way but that's gonna bring us to the Cardinals and their best wide receiver is Marquise Brown at an 84 overall and I feel like him and Murray could go off this season but at the same time the Cardinals suck. Let's keep it real. I don't know how they became so bad after just one season. I mean, I think it was two, maybe three years ago, they were one of the best teams in the league. But now their O-line is trash and their defense is... Oh, what a grab. Let's go. That was a crazy throw. But as I was going to say, I don't think they're going to be terrible long-term or anything like that. But at the same time, at the end of the year, I think they're going to have the throne for the worst team in the league. But that's going to be your touchdown from Marquise Brown. But that's going to bring us to the LA Chargers. Their best wide receiver is Keenan Allen at an 89 overall, and I think they're going to make the playoffs this year. I mean, you cannot count Justin Herbert out. I mean, obviously, they have to deal with the Chiefs, who are probably going to win the division just like they do every year, but I'd say the Chargers come in a close second because they did draft well this season, and they already had weapons before that. We almost got in one yard to go. So, I mean, as long as we don't mess this play up, this should be an easy touchdown of Keenan Allen, and we're going to get in. So there is your touchdown for the Chargers, but that's going to bring us to the Chiefs and their best wide receiver is Kadarius Tony, who's an 81 overall which isn't anything special but I feel like he's gonna get better as the season goes on that is a massive gain let's go and honestly I'd say it's gonna be the same story if Isaiah Pacheco he definitely proved himself last season and I think this year he's just gonna be absolutely unstoppable so with that being said I don't think anything's gonna be changing for the Chiefs this year they're probably gonna be the most explosive team in the AFC just like they are every season but that brings us to the Colts they're best wide receiver is Pittman Jr. And honestly, now that they have Richardson, I'd say they're in pretty good hands. What a grab. That was crazy. Just like last time, comment down below what you think the best touchdown of the video is. This might be one of them. Oh, come on. Let's go. Next to the drives that we got a touchdown in one play, this is probably right up with them because Michael Pittman Jr. has some crazy route running, as you can see. But this one should be another quick drive. The commander's best wide receiver is McLaurin, who is a 92 overall. He's one of the best wide receivers in the league. As you can see, that is a crazy route right there. If you're a Commanders fan, you might want to like put some earplugs in, but I don't think they're going to be doing a whole lot this season. I mean, they obviously have some improvements that they need to make. McLaurin's good. I don't know how Howell's going to be. He's either going to be like Brock Purdy and go off, or he's going to be like Dak Prescott and throw like 14 picks a game. But anyways, that's looking good. Let's go. That's another first. But as long as McLaurin can get open on this play, this should be a pretty easy touchdown, and it looks like it's going to be. So that's your touchdown for the Commanders. That brings us to the Cowboys, and as I said, a million times this is my least favorite team in the league but their best wide receiver is cd lamb who's a 90 overall and even though i don't really like the cowboys i gotta give them credit they had a pretty good offseason picking up gilmore so their defense is gonna be scary and they also got rid of zeke who isn't what he used to oh my god that's the best catch of the day that is the best catch of the day are you kidding me and washington got pass interference so that touchdown counts again let me know down below what you think the best touchdown of the day is I think that might just be it. But that brings us to the Dolphins, and they obviously have one of the best wide receivers in the league in Tyreek Hill, who's an 89 overall. Just look at that speed. That was so overthrown, but we still got there. I mean, this guy is absolutely ridiculous. Obviously, Jefferson's the best wide receiver in the league, and he proved that last year, but I put Tyreek Hill at a close second. I mean, the speed is ridiculous. Watch this. We're gonna get to it. That pass was, again, pretty overthrown, but the speed is ridiculous, so we're gonna get in for the touchdown. But that's going to bring us to the Philadelphia Eagles, who I would say are by far the scariest team in the NFC. I can definitely see them.
Keenum being the best in their conference again. But their best wide receiver is AJ Brown at a 91 overall, which I mean, it's that's a crazy overall, but I feel like he should at least be like a 93 or a 94. As good as the Eagles were last season, I think they're going to be even better this year. I mean, yes, they lost Sanders, which is a huge loss, but they drafted Jalen Carter, which should be illegal because their defense is going to be unstoppable. But that brings us to the Falcons, and their best wide receiver is London, who's an 80 overall. I mean, I feel like he's pretty underrated. He should at least be an 83 or an 84, but I feel like the Falcons are going to be one of those teams who just don't do a whole lot this season. I'd say give them three to four years, and they'll be a playoff team again, but this year, I can't really see them doing anything. They'll probably be like third or fourth in the division, but anyways... There's your touchdown from Drake London. That brings us to the 49ers. Their best wide receiver is Debo Samuel at an 89 overall. I feel like he should be a 91, but again, I feel like as the season goes on, he'll progress as you can see. I mean, that's gonna be a one play touchdown. This is why I think he should be higher than an 89. That was really quick though. So there's your touchdown for the 49ers. But that brings us to the New York Giants. Their best wide receiver is Sterling Shepard at an 81 overall, who's obviously not the star of the team. But I'd say the Giants definitely make the playoffs this year as long as Saquon Barkley stays healthy and they're also going to need Daniel Jones to go off I mean they gave the guy a massive contract which I think was kind of over the top but if he goes off it will probably be worth it for him but that's going to be your touchdown for the Giants but that brings us to the Jags who are probably the most underrated team in the league right now their best wide receiver is Kirk who's an 85 overall Obviously, they were trashed just a couple seasons ago, but after last year's playoff run, I think they're going to be pretty unstoppable, and Trevor Lawrence is just going to keep getting better and better as the season goes on. That is going to be a touchdown. That was an absolute dot. So there's your touchdown for Kirk. But that brings us to the Jets, and their best wide receiver is Garrett Wilson at an 84 overall. And now that this team has Aaron Rodgers, I'd say they're going to be quite the sight to see this season. I mean, I'd, I'd definitely say they make the playoffs. Obviously, quarterback is the most important position in the league, and it's crazy to see how far a team can go once they get a new quarterback. And I think Aaron Rodgers is going to be the guy to save the Jets. What a grab from Wilson. That was insane. We need one yard now, though, so as long as this play works, we should be in for an easy touchdown with Wilson who that could have gone either way that's kind of a dangerous throw but it's gonna work out so that's gonna be your touchdown for the Jets but that's gonna bring us to the Detroit Lions their best wide receiver is St. Brown at an 87 overall I mean I think the Lions are finally gonna make the playoffs this year I'd say the days of the Lions being terrible are finally over and that is gonna be a one play touchdown as you can see I don't Almost celebrated too early there. If that guy hit us, that definitely would have been a fumble, but we're in. So that's going to be your touchdown from St. Brown. But as I said, I have the Lions definitely making the playoffs this year. And if they get lucky, they might even win the division. But that brings us to the Packers. Their best wide receiver is Christian Kirk, who's a 77 overall. And now that the Packers don't have Aaron Rodgers anymore, I mean, it's a totally new era for them. I wouldn't say this season they're going to make the playoffs, but I'd say next year they definitely do. I mean, Love is obviously going to be a good quarterback. When you're looking up to a guy like Aaron Rodgers, I don't know how you can be bad. And the Packers are one of those teams that just seem to always produce superstar QBs. And I don't think it's going to be anything different with Jordan Love. But we only need seven yards now. So as long as we don't throw an interception or anything like that, and as long as Kirk is open, that is actually going to be really close. We're going to find him in the corner, though. So that is going to be your touchdown for the Green Bay Packers. But that brings us to the Panthers, and their best wide receiver is Adam Thielen at an 83 overall, and after the offseason, I'd say the Panthers definitely won the offseason this year. But the Panthers also got a new quarterback and a new coach. I feel like Bryce Young is probably going to be one of the best quarterbacks in the league in a couple years. I mean, they need an O-line so he can have some protection. He's, this season, he's probably going to be getting smacked around because their O-line is not very good, but if they can shape up and play good, the Panthers will probably win the division this year. I mean, which shouldn't be too difficult. All honesty, I feel like their division is going to be the worst in the league this year. But at the same time, hold on. That's going to be a touchdown from Thielen. As I was going to say, though, at the same time, the Saints are pretty good as well. So it's going to be between the Panthers and Saints for the division. But that is going to bring us to the New England Patriots. Their best wide receiver is Juju Smith-Schuster at an 82 overall. And I mean, they picked up Ezekiel Elliott a couple days ago as well. That's going to be a crazy touchdown. That juke was insane. That might 
might be the best touchdown of the day. We'll have to see. But that brings us to the Raiders. And they have one of the best wide receivers in the league in Devontae Adams. So it's going to be interesting to see how Jimmy Garoppolo does now that he has him to work with. But that's going to be a one-play touchdown. That route is crazy. It pretty much works every single time. And last but not least, we're using the LA Rams, whose best wide receiver is Cooper Cup at a 96 overall. And that's probably going to do it. You're not catching up to us when we have this much open field that's gonna be another easy one play touchdown and that is gonna end off the video that video took a very long time so make sure you drop a like and subscribe to help out the channel and if you have any video ideas feel free to leave them down in the comment section below i'll try to get to as many of them as i can and also make sure you comment what you think the best touchdown of the video was but other than that i'll see you guys in the next one peace out